Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hopewell. I'm your host, Charles Hawk, and I'm bringing you this week's Morning Buzz. Today is Friday, December 9th, and it is a B-Day. We start today with a special interview with our new school counselor. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Kevin Maldonado. I am the newest school counselor here at Hopewell Valley. Um, and I'm supposed to say something, I guess, fun about myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> One of the things I like to do is I'm a big video game person. I love um, reading books, but I have four teenagers, two crazy dogs, and a one really lazy cat. So I don't get a whole lot of time to actually do any of that stuff. Um, so I'm very excited to be here and looking forward to meeting everybody. Welcome to Hopewell, Mr. Maldonado. Now we take you to Jason, who will be telling us a bit about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm Jason Garrow. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was released in 1964 and was made by Reagan Bass Productions. Since then, it has become an iconic Christmas movie being watched by people every year. In that time, the movie has had three sequels, these sequels are Rudolph Shiny New Year, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Island of Misfit Toys. I put quotation marks around sequel because I don't think the people working on them actually went back and watched the first one. Because for some reason Rudolph is still young in these movies even though he was an adult by the end of the original. I think the real reason is because they found young Rudolph more remarkable than the adult. Fun fact, the original Rudolph film and the opening credit sequence, they put the year in the copyright of the film in Roman numerals. But instead of putting 1964, they accidentally put 1164. This made the copyright of the film complicated, with most interpretation of the law judging that Rankin Bass do not directly own any elements created for the film. That's why you might see these characters show up in commercials. Truly a classic holiday character. We'll now go to Madison, who'll be telling us about Hanukkah. Hanukkah is an eight-day Jewish festival. This year, it is celebrated from the evening of December 18th to the evening of December 26th. The holiday celebrates the victory of the Jewish freedom fighters, the Maccabees, after recapturing Jerusalem's holy temple from the Seleucidian Greek occupiers. They searched for oil to light the temple's menorah. They found enough for a day, but it instead burned for eight days, just until more arrived. So, one more candle is lit on the menorah over eight nights. On Hanukkah, it is customary to play with dreidels, tops upon which four Hebrew letters, Nun, Gimel, Hey and Shin are written. Roman is up next with some trivia about our school. Hi, I'm Roman Schroeder, and today I'll be asking HVCHS trivia questions to some teachers and students. So sit back and enjoy. Hey, you want to play some trivia? I'm in. Let's do it. All right. So who is the head coach of the girls field hockey team? Miss Edwards. Yes, you are correct. Oh. Let's go. Who is our new vice principal? Mr. Quinn. Dr. Quinn. Yep, you guys are correct. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go. What is the Central High School's fight song? Uh, Black and Yellow by Wiz Khalifa. And wrong answer is Salutation. Did you get any of those questions right? Now, since it's December, it's time for the book of the month. The Kindness Diaries. One Man's Epic Quest to Ignite Goodwill and Transform Lives Around the World by Leon Lugathetis. Follow the inspirational journey of a former stockbroker who leaves his unfulfilling desk job in search of a meaningful life. The Kindness Diaries will introduce you to a world of adventure, renew your faith in the bonds that connect people, and inspire you to accept and generate kindness in your own life. Now it's time for the movie mystery. on her way. Tell everyone. She's not supposed to be here until night. Her driver just text messaged me and her facial has ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's this? That I can't even talk about. Alright, everyone. Get your lines. Someone eat an onion bagel? Last week's movie mystery was The Smurfs. 
Whoa, just what is this magic searching device? Right now I'm using Google. Ooh. 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 That's all for today. Have a great day, CHS.